What is up everybody? This is Stock Market Education and in today's video we're going to be talking about the stocks that I'm buying for July of 2019. So let's jump right on into it. First stock that I'm buying is Tesla stock. So when you look at Tesla stock right now it's trading at 225 and 3 cents. You always read like these headlines about oh Tesla's delivery numbers change multiple times between filings or Tesla's earnings estimates signal weakness. Like it's just ridiculous these types of headlines that are coming out. When you actually look at the numbers, like Elon Musk literally stated in their investor conference that they're about to have what could possibly be their best earnings season in history. And you just see like these headlines and you think, where is this coming from? You know, I, I think it's just absolutely ridiculous that these headlines are coming out like this. Not to mention like the near future that this company has even. Like the Model Y is about to come out next year with a range of 300 miles. It's going to be a seven-seater SUV. It's going to cater to families around the middle class. It's going to be a car that caters to the mass of the market. And when you see this and when you see that their Gigafactory is about to open soon or they're just starting productions in the Gigafactory, they already have two Gigafactories in Reno and Buffalo. Elon Musk stated that they're going to have a 400-mile battery sometime in the future in the, his investor conference. And so when you look at this, you know, the amount of miles that the battery can hold is going up. The cost of the battery is going down. And they're about to mass produce these at an insane level that, you know, Tesla hasn't seen before. And we're just at the beginning of it. And we're just about to see it. And it's just going to be an amazing thing to watch. And I haven't even talked about Tesla's economic mode around autonomous vehicles. Currently, right now, it is safer to be in one of Tesla's autonomous vehicles than it is to drive yourself. Over the next few years, autonomous vehicles is going to get more and more popular, and Tesla is at the forefront of that. Overall, Tesla stock is an obvious buy for long-term investors who are looking, you know, three to five years out. The next stock I'm buying in June 2019 isn't even a stock at all. It's an index fund. The ticker symbol is DGRO. And it's a dividend growth ETF. I like dividend growth ETFs because they're going to increase their dividends over time. And the two most important factors of when buying any dividend index fund is, are they going to be able to grow that dividend in the future? And are they going to be able to pay it out in the future? And when you look at some of the largest holdings for iShares core dividend growth, you see that it holds Microsoft, Apple, JP Morgan, and Verizon. If these are some stocks that are interested in you, then maybe this is an index fund that you would like to consider putting into your portfolio. And when you compare it to the S&P 500, on a price basis, it slightly beats the S&P 500. However, it pays nearly twice as much in dividends as the S&P 500. And since this is a dividend growth ETF, the dividend is just going to increase over time. And according to the study, DGRO ranks in the 92nd percentile of 650 ETFs that were covered. And on top of all of this, DGRO's fees are 0.08%. This is insanely cheap compared to, you know, there are some uh, dividend ETFs out there that charge a 2 or even a 3% fee on it. And when you look at Morningstar's risk rating, everything is exactly how you'd want it to see. It has a 5 out of 5 star rating, the risk is below average, and the return is high on equity. Thank you guys for watching the video. These are the two stocks that I'm buying for July 2019. Let me know if you guys like it, hate it, or indifferent about it. And as always, this is Stock Market Education.